everybody needs to be powered and energized. We look at the world of emissions, and one area that was really an eye-opener for us was uh, the marine sector. There was a sulfur cap that was introduced back in January 2020, mandated that there's a certain limit on sulfur that cannot be exceeded, which is at 0.5%. Uh, and the challenge was how can we explore removing the sulfur from the marine fuels? And that's really what draws us to come to uh, KAUST. So the particular problem that we're looking at is combustion of heavy fuel oil, which has a high sulfur content. When the sulfur is burned, it forms SOx, SO2, SO3. This gets converted to sulfuric acid in the atmosphere, and then it rains out. So then you have deforestation or you have acidification of the seas. So the sulfur needs to be captured. And this is done in light fuels now, at scale. For the heavier fuels, the larger molecular weights, the sulfur is bound differently and it's much more difficult to get out. And so we built this international collaboration. We built this new rig that we can take to a refinery and actually get some real world experience at a reasonable scale. And this is really where we think the impact can happen, is that you can take a technology, scale it from the lab and take it to all over the world because this is a global uh, challenge that we think we have to really emphasize the importance of. We built it at the beginning of the year and we took it to the refinery in July. And that will produce about 100,000 tons of fuel. And this is a scale that uh, is sufficient to validate our techno-economic model. I think it's absolutely connected to the vision, which is, you know, utilization of hydrocarbons in the most economic and environmentally sustainable manner. To make an impact, you really need to be inquisitive. All the easy problems have been solved, so you gotta keep at it.